Over the past couple of weeks, I've received a number of questions about whether steroid injections make knee replacements more likely. This is probably related to a surge in recent articles from multiple media outlets covering the topic. In this video, I'll share what is causing this heightened conversation and what it means for you if you have knee pain. Articles in CNN, US News, WebMD, Healthline, and NBC News, to name a few, have all been reporting on the topic of whether steroid injections worsen knee arthritis. And that's because the Radiological Society of North America's annual meeting was held in Chicago late last month. Two of the presentations at the conference were about research related to knee arthritis, comparing the effects of two different types of knee injections. The first type being corticosteroid injections, which I'll refer to as steroid injections for short. Steroid injections are meant to decrease pain and swelling inside your knee. The second type of injections is hyaluronic acid, which I'll refer to as gel injections because gel is a lot easier to say versus hyaluronic acid. So gel injections are meant to increase the quality of the fluid inside your knee to make it cushion and protect your knee better. There were two studies presented at the recent conference, and they both looked at the effects of these two types of knee injections. In the first study, there were 210 people. 44 people received steroid injections. 26 people received gel injections. 140 people received no injections. All of them got MRIs two years beforehand, when the injections were given, and two years afterwards. The researchers then compared these MRIs, and the lead researcher was quoted as saying, while both corticosteroid and hyaluronic acid injections are reported to help with symptomatic pain relief for knee osteoarthritis, our results conclusively showed that corticosteroids are associated with significant progression of knee osteoarthritis up to two years post-injection and must be administered with caution. Hyaluronic acid, on the other hand, may slow down the progression of knee osteoarthritis and alleviate the long-term effects while offering symptomatic relief. Before I talk more about that, let's look at the second study. In the second study, there were 150 people. 50 received steroid injections, 50 received gel injections, 50 received no injections. Their knees were x-rayed at the beginning of the study and then two years later. And the lead researcher was quoted as saying, even though imaging findings for all patients were similar at baseline, the imaging hallmarks of osteoarthritis were worse two years later in patients who received corticosteroid injections compared to patients who received hyaluronic acid injections or no treatment at all. The results suggest that steroid injections should be utilized with more caution. So at this point, you may be asking, are these studies worth listening to? And if so, what does it mean for you if you have knee pain? One of the first things to look at is how many people are in the studies. So if, for example, there were only five people in the study, the conclusions might not be all that dependable. But both of these studies had over 50 people. Would it have been better to have 500 or 5,000 people in the study? Absolutely. But the number of the people in both studies are significant enough to be worth listening to. And here's what current media publications are not telling you. These two studies are not breaking news. Yes, they were recently shared during the radiologist's annual conference, but this type of research has been previously published in very respectable scientific journals. For example, in May of 2020, the Bone and Joint Journal published a study entitled, Intraarticular Corticosteroid Injections Increase the Risk of Requiring Knee Arthroplasty. Arthroplasty means joint replacement. The title basically tells us that steroid injections increase the risk of needing a knee replacement. And there were 3,822 people in that study. Anytime there are multiple research studies all pointing to a similar conclusion, it's something worth listening to. And so if you have knee pain and you're trying to avoid a knee replacement, you might want to avoid steroid injections. 
In a moment, I'll share what to do instead. On the other hand, steroid injections may still be appropriate for someone with severe knee pain. Let's say you're planning on getting a knee replacement, maybe but you're a caregiver for a family member, or maybe you have upcoming work or personal travel plans that you can't reschedule. You can't have a knee replacement right now. In this case, a steroid injection may allow you to live more comfortably until a time when you can get a knee replacement. But if you have knee pain and you don't plan on getting a knee replacement, I recommend a different approach, a three-part method. Part one involves increasing the cushion effect inside your knee. Part two involves gentle motion, what some of my clients described as a massage deep inside their knees. And part three involves applying the right amount of pressure and the right type of exercise to your knees. To get started, check out my guide to save your knees at www.saveyourkneesguide.com. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. If this video was helpful to you, please share it with others by using the share button below this video within YouTube. And then subscribe to this channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss future videos about overcoming knee pain.